Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can track your crypto portfolio on CoinMarketCap. Now I'm using Binance, so I'm going to track my Binance crypto coin portfolio. Now what you can do is scroll down a little bit, you will see portfolio after the watch list, click on portfolio. After that, you want to add new right here. Okay, so we can select the coins. Now I already have the coins that I manually buy on Binance Bot Market. So how do you know? Let's say Eddie, I bought the coin, but I forgot the date. How do I know when I bought the coin? Let me show you a trick here. You can go to your Binance application and then go to trade. After that, click this history. Now you want to go to trade history. After that, click on this icon right here. Now you want to choose the range three months, then the pair. Okay, let's say for example, this one is Joe. So I probably bought Joe USDT. I just type in Joe and you can see there is Joe USDT. And then I can just confirm. Now I can see this. This is Joe USDT and I can see the date right there. 7th January. And I can see the price I bought at $1.543. Okay. So this is uh, the price. And then this is how much Joe I get. You can see uh, this is the final coin that you get. Okay. Because when you buy the coin, there's going to be a fee. You will see the fee right there, which is 0.1%. This is the final amount of your Joe coin. How do you see your final amount? Just subtract your fill amount with the fee. This trick is very awesome guys. So you don't have to manually scroll down and find your you know the coin that you bought it will take you forever to find it so you can just use this technique to find the pair for example this one sand i can just type in sand so i just search for sand usdt right here and then confirm so there we go it tell me this is my sand i bought it on january 11 as you can see now i can see how much coin do i have it's basically 11 minus 0.011 and I will get this number and I bought it at this price. Now I'll show you another easier way to fill out your coin that you have. Go to wallet and then go to spot. Uh, you will see the coin here. Your coin will not change. Okay. Only the price change goes up or goes down. You will see my send 10.989. Okay. Then I can do this same trick with other coin as well uh, FTM you can see FTM right there 19.98 okay then I can do the same for the rest of it now how do we add the coin on coin market cap portfolio so for example I already add the Joe I want to add the sand so I'll put sand here so this is the sandbox I will click on it it asks for quantity remember this is the quantity I just can copy it and paste it right there. Price per coin. Again, I can just select this, copy, paste it, or you can punch in your own number. Is it correct? Okay, it's correct. So I actually spend this much to get this much coin of cent. And the date. Okay, go back here, see the date, 11 of January. Uh, the time, uh, I don't think the time is important. You can put in the time if you want to, if you want to be really, really to the point because it shows you as well the time if you go back to your trade history. I will just add transaction here. Now you will see I have current balance of $53 because I have two coins now that I have added, Joe and the Sandbox. A uh, total here I have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have 12 coins. Uh, manually now I have X infinity I will add new coin again find X infinity copy the number paste it in there 
okay easy peasy lemon squeezy the date 12th of January okay done add transaction so you can add up all your portfolio you can see what's happening with your portfolio and your profit slash loss you know ideally when you see something that is above 10 percent or 20 percent you want two dollar cost average okay meaning that you put more money when the price is cheaper because you believe in the project because you know that the project will rebound so you can take profit much faster if you dollar cost averaging now i will add phantom i will speed this up i will skip bnb because i use bnb to pay for the fee so i cannot really track bnb because you know i keep using bnb so i would just leave bnb right there i just use bnb to pay for the fees glmr Right, I've added all of it guys as you can see my current balance is now $400 based on this coin market cap portfolio but how much money did I actually add I can just sum this up okay and you will see I actually put in $500 $510 and now the value is like how much is it $400 it actually goes up now very very important guys my mistake i want you to avoid my mistake i was too greedy okay you will too because why because every time you see influencer out there you see your friends they're gonna tell you oh this project is gonna be good this project is gonna be good buy now buy now buy now buy now but when you bought it if you don't have enough money to cover your assets you cannot dollar cost averaging back then i was too greedy i don't really have enough money okay two dollar cost averaging so when the price drop the coin gets cheaper i should have buy it okay buy at the cheaper price so that we decrease our average price and even goes down lower i should have bought it again but guess what i don't have enough money because i bought too many coins manually okay that is the saddest thing about manual stuff and if you see on my phone here manual coin trading is pain in the ass man i'm not gonna lie to you you know it's better for you to use a bot trading bot like what i'm using right now you can see you can watch my video i have a full playlist about this spot trading bot so this bot will help you dollar cost averaging okay you just prepare the funds that's all you don't have to have any headache and even though the market is going down like this I'm still making consistent profit. Manual trading, I'm telling you, is pain in the butt. <laughs> okay, you might think that oh, manual trading is going to make me more money. Not really. Okay, not really because okay, the market is not going like this, guys. The market is not going like this. Guess what? It's going like this. Even if best case scenario, the market is going to be like this. And it's gonna have retracement okay this is what going to happen most of the time so it's better to use a bot where the bot can perform a buy and sell a buy and sell buy and sell buy 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 okay if it's going down it's just gonna buy it not gonna sell so it goes out again it's gonna sell this sell 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 and then it will keep selling and selling and selling and will buy 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 and sell 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 so at the end of the day you know bot will beat you manually and if you do manual trading you don't really have a good timing okay you, you don't have a perfect entry you will never know when you're gonna best time to entry right you will also never know what is the best exit strategy you think here guess what when you see something like this you thought okay this is at the top let me sell and guess what it actually goes higher did you ever experience this okay this is why we as a human we don't have the capability 
to you know keep watching the market okay so that's why i use spot trading and it just make me consistent profit and stress free okay stress free that's so much more important i can focus on my other job i can focus you know make more babies with my wife so you know at the end of the day it's your choice right which one you choose you know if you are interested in bot trading i'll put a video right here you can go watch my uh, bot trading videos and i will see you on the next one